What's up, my beautiful people? It's Courtney, and today I'm sharing with you some of my favorite hair hacks for 2017. And it's been a good minute since I've done like a hair life hacks, hairstyle type of video. So I really hope you guys enjoy this. Give this a like if you'd like to see maybe a beauty edition. Before we jump into the video, I also created a Patreon, which I will link down below. And it's just a really cool way if you like my videos and like what I do to support my channel and really connect with me on a more one-on-one -on -one basis. So if you're interested in that, definitely check it out, whether it's life advice, YouTube advice, you just want to chat. There's also going to be a huge giveaway in this video for 10 winners. So make sure to stay tuned throughout this video. Don't go skipping around and miss it. And let's go ahead and get started with these life hacks. I always seem to lose my hair ties, so when you don't have one and you're out and about and want to get your hair up, you could do this simple braid. So I'm just starting off doing a regular three strand braid, but I'm not untangling the ends and they're actually going to braid themselves. Once you get stuck where you can't really cross any more pieces, there's going to be a little hole and then you just want to flip the end of the braid through the hole. And this is the snuggest, tightest hairstyle I've found that works so well for no hair ties. So that's an easy little hack. This next hack is like a million hacks in one. So this is the Kike Naturals Kike Oil Elixir, and I love this stuff. I'm gonna link it down below if you guys wanna check it out, but it smells amazing. The first part of this hack is to rub the oil on both sides of your hand. That way it gets more evenly distributed when you apply it throughout your hair. But this helps so much with hair dryness and just giving it that extra shine, and it helps it not be frizzy and just look so nice. My favorite part is, like I said, it smells amazing. Amazing. This is like the best smelling hair product I've ever smelt in my entire life. It smells so good. So I love it, especially now that my hair is colored. It really helps like revitalize my hair. And this actually has 50% more vitamin E than any argan oil. So I love it. It works so good. And then I just comb it through my hair. Now it's time for the giveaway. So I'm going to be giving away 10 bottles of the Kike Natural Oils. And this is a huge bottle. It will last you literally forever. And it's going to be international. It's going to be super simple. So here's what you got to do if you want to get yourself a bottle. All you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment on this video. And I'm going to be pulling five winners from here. And also go over to my Instagram, which is Court Lundquist. I'll link it down below. If you're not following me, give me a follow and just interact with me. And I'm going to be choosing five winners from there as well from people who are currently interacting with me. I'm going to have all the giveaway details as always listed in the description box if you want to read through them. And if you come back to this video one week from now, I'm going to list all the winners there as well. Well, you know those days when you brush your hair and it's so staticky? What I like to do is take some hairspray and spray a little bit on my brush. I also do this just to kind of tame my hair sometimes. And then I brush it through my hair and this kind of just gets a little bit of hairspray so your hair is not crunchy, but it gets rid of all the static and just leaves your hair nice and smooth. Probably one of the easiest hairstyles ever that we all first learn is how to twist your hair together. The only downside of this is when you go to tie it off, it really just falls. It never holds its place and just doesn't look good. So what you could actually do is twist one strand of the hair away from your face and then you want to twist the other strand towards your face. And by twisting them in opposite directions, they're not going to come unraveled. So now you can just twist them together like so. And then when you tie it off, it's good to go. It stays in place. It doesn't budge. It's a much sturdier hairstyle and looks super cute too. And it took like two seconds. So super lazy girl hair hack. All right, so we all pretty much have makeup wipes laying around somewhere, and these could serve multiple purposes for your hair. So the first one I like to do is clean kind of off my roots if there's a lot of product buildup, maybe a lot of shampoo buildup, or just anything in my roots. And this is really gonna help you go longer and between washes. Another thing is, say you just got done at the gym, you could use it to sleek back your hair with any flyaways, kind of clean up some of that sweat, and just slick your hair back, and it helps slick it back as well. Woo, I've been working on a lot today. So you know sometimes when you get done at the gym and your hair just doesn't smell too good, you might have to go somewhere right after the gym and you're like, what do I do? So if you have a little perfume just in your purse, you could spray your hairbrush with it and then just lightly brush it through your hair. This way your hair doesn't like smell really strongly of perfume, but it'll get a little bit of that scent on there and it smells much better. 
So if you haven't heard, spend pens are pretty much the greatest thing ever. One spend pen is like 20 bobby pens. So they really work well at holding buns in place and other hair updos. But you can make one yourself out of a bobby pen. And all you have to do is straighten out the bobby pen. And then once it's flat like so, you can go ahead and wrap it around a pencil. And then you have your very own mini uh, spend pen, which works really cool. And just like if you're in a pinch, you only have one bobby pen and you need to put your hair up, this will get the job done. So so I just put my hair up in a bun and then you just spin it into place and depending how thick hair you have um, one or two of these should work and hold everything in place and it's a lot easier to hold in place than just a regular bobby pen so I love this one while we're on the topic of buns I'm gonna show you how to get like a perfect messy bun that's kind of like tumbler ish inspired so I just wrap the hair around itself to form a bun and then just put a hair tie around it but now you want to pull up on it till there's about an inch or so of space and then just drop it and you're gonna have like a much looser bun now you could pull out any hairs in the front and it's just like this more messy loose textured bun I like to pull apart the bun some and you could bobby pin it if you want I didn't need to but then you just have like this a much looser um, like undone look. I've done this next one since my swimming days in high school and with summer around the corner I thought I would share it with you. So anytime you're going to the beach or a chlorinated pool especially, you want to put some conditioner in your hair before it goes. You could just put it on dry hair and then just kind of tie up your hair and you know take it down once you get to the pool but it really helps protect your hair and leaves it super smooth and protects it against the chlorine. For this last one, I'm taking some bobby pins and just like putting it on a post-it note and then just painting it with nail polish. And you could do about two coats of this of any color nail polish you have. I think a gold metallic would be really pretty. But then you have these really cute, like simple way to jazz up your bobby pins like so. So did you learn something new? Did you learn a new hair hack that you're gonna be doing from now on? If you are, like let me know in the comments down below. Let me know which ones you've heard, which ones you haven't. Um, I really hope you guys learned some new fun hacks. And if if you missed some of my last videos you could click on over to the side of me I've also been vlogging a lot so I'll link that over there as well and I hope you all have an amazing amazing day and I will see you guys next time bye